Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I wanna to tell you how to avoid ruining your Mini 3 or your Mini 3 Pro when you change the props, so stay tuned. So before we get started, I wanna give a shout out to Summer Everest. They are a company that makes cool shirts like this one. This one says, Merry Rexmas, so Merry Rexmas to you. I am Tex Rex in the FPV world. And they also make bowling shirts, they make Hawaiian shirts, they make cool themed holiday shirts for different holidays. You should check them out, I'll put a link below. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. So let's get into how you can avoid ruining your Mini 3 or your Mini 3 Pro when you change the props. So what happened is I received these master air screw props to test out, I was pretty excited to do it. So I started trying to get the little tiny screws out of the shafts here so I could replace the props. Now the drone does not come with a screwdriver. And so I got a small screwdriver, Phillips head, and started to do it. And as I was going, I realized that they weren't coming out very easily. And I was able to get all of them out except for one. And on one, I kept turning and I actually stripped out the Phillips head part. So basically a Phillips head is a little cross, a little T. And if you have a cheap screwdriver or you don't have the right size screwdriver, and you're trying to turn it, you could very well just ruin that T and make it a circle and make it something you just can't get out of the drone. And so then you have a prop that's stuck on there or maybe even just part of a prop if you broke a prop. So I was in a bit of a bind trying to get that last screw out so I could replace the props and try them. So what I ended up doing was clipping the propeller because I knew I was gonna have to break it to get it off. And I thought I could get a pair of cutters in there and maybe cut the end of the uh, plastic off in order to get it off the shaft. Well, that didn't work, so I got a box cutter and I tried to kind of peel it and uh, almost slice it, carve it, whittle it off. That wasn't working very well, so I did something with the pliers. I just kind of gnawed at it with the pliers to try and get that plastic off. The problem was the plastic was covering the screw, so I couldn't get the screw out. I couldn't get a grip on the screw. The plastic just turned and the screw was stripped, so there was no way for me to get it out far enough to be able to turn it. So I ended up getting this Dremel tool, which I already had, brought it up here and put on a pretty high grit sandpaper uh, piece and then just ground the plastic down so that it would come off. Now the props obviously are plastic, the screw and the shaft are metal, so there was a little bit of sparking that happened when I would hit the screw or the shaft, but I was able to actually use the Dremel to get enough of the plastic off to then get a grip on the actual screw using this pair of pliers and then just turn it and twist it and pull, pull the screw out. The shaft was okay because like I said, it's metal and I was trying to be fairly gentle and that all worked. So the moral of this story is if you're out in the field, I recommend you have the right size screwdriver to be able to change these props out in case you need to change one. Uh, the replacement props from DJI actually do include screws, as do the master air screw props. So there are plenty of screws. Try not to lose them, of course, but if you lose one, the replacements have another one. And so what I found out was, after messing with it for a while, that the wow stick, which is something that I have right here, actually, comes with a tip that is a PH0000. So that's a PH with four zeros, and that stands for Phillips head. Four zeros is the smallest one I've ever found, and that worked perfectly. I actually did strip the thing by using the wrong size bit in the screws and turning it too fast and not being straight. So what I actually ended up doing was pulling, the, pulling this out and doing it by hand with the PH0000, which again is Phillips head, smallest one I could find. Most screwdriver kits don't have one this small. You can find some with a PH000, that's three zeros, but you really need the four zeros in order to really fit in there and get it out without risk of stripping it. And so I found two different options for that. Number one is the wow stick. It does come with a bunch of different um, screw tips and bits that you can put on, all different kinds, Torx and Slot and Phillips and lots of others. Then there's also another kit that's not electric, it's more of a manual kit that does have a PH0000 bit in it. What you wanna look for too is you wanna look for very hard steel. You don't want cheap stuff because if these things start to uh, get ground down, then you don't have as much bite when you go in there and try to pull these things out. 
So if you do ever decide to change the props out, you're gonna wanna have the right size bit for your screwdriver or the right size screwdriver. I actually couldn't find any PH0000 screwdrivers. All I could find were these kits that had the bits, but the bits are high quality metal, very hard hardened metal that isn't going to uh, get worn down. And both the links are below in the description. Something good to have on hand in case this ever happens to you so you don't end up going through everything I had to go through. If you like this video, please comment below, please hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Merry Christmas, and thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone.